Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel video. Today my dear friends this video will be about cylinder liner assembly and disassembly procedure. First of all I'd I like to thank you that you have subscribed to the channel and you always have your thumbs on the top and let's see quickly the demonstration procedure here uh, our simulator. As you can see we have our Yanmar engine six cylinder with bore 22 of the piston and quickly quickly we will see this demonstration as you can see also uh, everything is out so we will place uh, our extracting tool of the liner okay this is some special tools the washer also will be placed in the middle and try as much as possible everything to be aligned so uh, this shaft will be exactly in the middle and also this plate the metal plate here will be placed exactly uh, as much as possible straight in the middle and the pressure will be distributed equally through all the part of cylinder liner it's not so difficult procedure uh, here in this bore around uh, the cylinder liner and between also this jacket there will be circulated the water for cooling down uh, the temperatures which is created here so we will remove our o-rings and then we will place our cylinder liner so it will be more easy to remove the special tool this kind of procedure for sure will be done when our measurements are outside the limits and it's necessary to replace the cylinder liner or when you are making overhauling it is good thing to replace also these o-rings also in 16,000 hours, I believe it's a very, very good solution to do that. And I don't know one, why some of the companies do not have this job also attached. It will be also a very, very nice uh, pro to be done. Because I have seen years old vessels and still they use the same O-rings. But uh, really, uh, you can see and you can determine any sign of the water if it's so if it's uh, any drops you will determine them on the crankshaft itself so let's start let's quickly uh, join our disassembly procedure i will press here and i direct select the special tool so if any drops will be uh, falling down in the engine and if your engine uh, it's stand still let's say it's standing for a long time you will have that opportunity to see uh, some rust on the cranks space or you will be able to determine some uh, signs from water uh, like all the water it's dropping down you will see some drops uh, in some point and also another thing that uh, you can determine if you have a lot of water you will see from the analysis that's why it's very important to make the oil analysis to see if uh, the water contained it's on the levels and acceptable levels so that's why every three months we give uh, the oil for testing we send it to a laboratory and every 12 months also we send um, all the machineries like uh, deck machineries also we collect all that uh, samples and sending them to the laboratory uh, there is also sometimes uh, <laughs> Okay, let's pick up. Okay, let's going. Let's pulling up. Okay, by tightening there. By tightening this nut here, we will pull out our cylinder liner. 
and there is sometimes some kind of uh, <laughs> let's say laboratories that uh, will show you okay let's take the chain blip that your new oil that you have set it inside have some trouble so let's pick it down and that is true some of engineers have sent new oil to the laboratories uh, from the bucket and uh, the laboratory uh, said that there is some problems with the oil there is a lot of uh, water content but really uh, <laughs> the oil was really really clean from uh, the drum itself and the drum also was new so also there is a file on board the vessel where everything all this storage and also the oil yes it will be stored so you will have also a history of the machinery and it will be more easy to identify any kind of problems so let's turn now we can measure our cylinder liner also uh, let's make the assembly procedure when my dear friends the really important thing of the measurement itself because as I have seen in uh, most of the cases there is a lack of proper measurement and that is one thing that must be uh, make some uh, let's say training uh, indoor training for proper measurement because I have seen there is lack of measurement and understanding of usage of the tools itself so if there is a big error of measurement of some items also um, it will be a very very big loss of time for sure and also it very very big loss for spares uh, it will be uh, accidentally ordered so everything must be really really careful uh, checked before order something because by ordering okay you press one button you order but you must be exactly sure that you need it that item so let's attach our chain block here and let's put it to the engine close to the engine so we will prepare for lowering um, where is okay it's here okay let's put our o-rings and then we will be ready so uh, because okay in the most of the cases and the ships like VLCCs you will have a lot of time to do such uh, things for checking and all that things Okay, let's remove the chain block here probably the chain block will be removed later on first of all okay we will place uh, this kind of wooden pieces on the top then we will put this um, special tool and then we will screw the nuts on the top and then we will try to press so the liner will be inserted inside then back again remove all that parts that we have used and remove the special tool itself so I will uh, be going down here to remove it from the bottom Okay, here to unslack so what I would like to see I would like to see third engineers to know the special tools uh, one of the thing which is very very important and also uh, fourth engineers as much as possible to know the tools so if it's necessary 
they direct will bring the tool and it will be ready for uh, the installation this, this is nothing uh, so difficult and it can be done from everybody just uh, you will need to spend some time to identify to read the books to see where it is where it is located <laughs> we get 100 0 0.9 so as apprentice engineer also i like to share with you that in second year as apprentice engineer already i was uh, operated the hydraulic pump by myself and with uh, second engineer i remember when we uh, tried to make the preparation of our hauling I, I was ahead i was isolated the engine and that's how uh, you remember everything much better so also uh, if somebody give you this opportunity uh, to be standing on the front uh, with this situation you'll be able to learn much more and you will be more better standing on your foot and you will not afraid to touch something so this is a good solution uh, for learning and also I remember in that time chief engineer was standing on the top and was and saying to second engineer what 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 he's doing and he said okay okay he knows he knows and really uh, that was really really nice uh, the isolation of the engine was so uh, good and so quick so every day i exactly know what to do and how to prepare and how to overhaul and uh, that was really really uh, interesting also for me as new engineer some of your friends uh, stay here stay to adventure story channel more videos will be uh, introduced by the time from adventure story see you in the next videos don't forget to share the video so it will gain more and more new engineers so if they are searching about this material they will uh, gain the access to these videos Thank you my dear friends and see you on the next video from Adventure Story. Bye bye.